For a lot of you starting Castle Head, this might be where your first day really begins, down on Canal Street. If you're crossing the road, please use the lights and be safe. And now we come to Camp Hill, which will take us up to the school. On the right here is a cycle path, which some of you might use to go to and from school. You'll be able to see the other entrance on the left. We do not want any accidents in the car park, so pupils are not allowed to walk through the car park. When entering the school, you should use this gate. The car park is always very busy during term time, so make sure you stick to the paths as you're coming in. If you want to cycle to school, you can lock your bike up here at the mural. At the top of the stairs, you will find the PE department. The stairs leading down to the car park should be used only by pupils if you are going to the astral pitch. On your first day, you will go to the auditorium. The doors to the auditorium are next to the door to the music department, near the main entrance. Most of you will be familiar with the auditorium from previous visits to Castle Head. The doors will be open and there will be lots of people there to meet you. You will be shown where to sit. This will be where you meet the rest of your class for the first time. You will also meet the S4 pupils who will be your escort for the first few days to help you find your way around the school. When you leave the auditorium, through either door at the top, you'll find yourself in the Link Corridor. You'll see why it's called these names later on. We're going to turn left to start with. Along the way, you'll see some doorways that lead to staircases up and down. We won't be going into all of these just now, but you'll be able to figure out which ones are best for use for going to different classes when you get to Castle Head. When the school is open properly, make sure you're following the one-way system. It is important everyone does this, so that everyone moves safely around the school. If you turn left at the end of the corridor, there's a small office. This is the math space, but if you need to speak to Mr McAleer, you can sometimes find him in here. The classrooms in this corridor are for maths and English. You'll also find the Castlehead base here too. See if you notice anything about the room numbers. They all begin with a 1, which means you're on the first floor. The rest of the numbers make them odd. All the room numbers on this side of the building are odd numbers, no matter what floor you're on. At the very end of the corridor, you'll find the school library. the auditorium and we're going to turn right this time. This is where the main school office is. Along the corridor you'll find the head teacher's office. This is on the left next to the main office. There are other offices along the corridor where you can find the deputy head teachers. Further along the corridor, you'll find some of the science labs. We're still on the first floor, so all the room numbers begin with a 1, but on this side of the building, all the room numbers are even. We're back at the school office, but now we're going to go up to the second floor. So this part of the tour starts at the very end of the even corridor on the second floor. This end of the corridor has the rest of the science labs. As you get further along, you will find the ICT rooms.
At the end of the corridor, you'll see the stairs on the left. If you turn to your right, you'll be in the Link Corridor. At the end of the bridge corridor, there is one more math classroom. This corridor, the odd numbers, is where you'll find classrooms for support for learning, modern languages, humanities and social studies. We're back at the office on the first floor and we're going to go up to the third floor. What's different up here from the first and second floor? You might have spotted that there's no link corridor because only one side of the building has three floors. All the room numbers on the third floor are even. Up here, you'll find the home economics classrooms, the art classrooms, the specialist support base, and room 316, which is a meeting room. Starting at the auditorium again, we'll turn left. At the end of the corridor, we'll go downstairs. There are some toilets down here that you can use. Further along the corridor are social areas and cafeterias that older and senior pupils use at breaks and lunch. At the moment, the cafeterias are being used to prepare food packages for people that are unable to get to the shops just now. So they aren't as busy as this normally. At the end of the corridor are some more toilets. This red staircase takes you up to the first floor, just outside the library, but we're going to turn right into the technical department. Back at the office, we are going to head downstairs on the even side of the building. Again, there are some toilets down here that you can use. These are the cafeterias and social areas the S1s can use at break and lunchtime. At the end of the corridor are the hub and two offices where you can find Linda and Suzanne, who are Castlehead's home link workers. Linda often has Duffy, a very friendly spaniel, with her. Duffy is a therapist and lots of pupils at Castlehead find her very helpful. We're outside now. Can you spot the main difference between the two sides of the building? One side has three floors and the other side has two floors, as we talked about earlier. Lots of pupils come to this outside area at break and lunch times. There are doors that take you in and out of the cafeterias. If you look up and to the left, you'll see the three floors. The bits in between are the link corridors. They get this name because they link both sides of the building and from the outside they look like a bridge you can walk under. Next to the auditorium is the music department. There are lots of doors that link them together. There isn't a lot of space in the corridor here, so be very mindful of the notice on the door.
Nazareth has two pitches. You get to the Astro pitch by walking down the stairs to the car park. The red pitch is up the stairs near the main entrance. This is also where you'll go if there is a fire drill. Outside the PE department there's a handy canopy you can stand under if it's raining. The PE department and active schools run lots of clubs and activities which you'll hear more about when you start Castlehead. On the right is where you'll find table tennis and a classroom. There's a kitchen area here where you can borrow PE kit if you need to. Our active schools coordinator Sam Duncan has an office here too. Along the corridor you'll find a small gym hall, probably about the size of the hall in your primary. There are also some changing rooms. At the end of the corridor is the main hall, which is probably about three times the size of the hall in your primary school. Through the door at the end are a few changing rooms and another small hall. This one has wall bars, so it might be used for gymnastics among other things. We hope you have found this tour helpful and we look forward to welcoming you to Castlehead soon. Although you will not have the usual induction days throughout the month of June, you will be taking part in induction activities and online lessons set by teachers in Castlehead. Your class teachers will let you know how you can access these.